I don't know how long I have been filmed with a tripod in the background. I miss this so much. Hello, I'm Starboy, and welcome to my world. Woo. Let me just put on my cat ears because they need it today. All better. A lot of you actually requested me to do this NCS WhatsApp hack video. So thanks for whoever liked to comment or whoever did comment. Thank you so much. Because I definitely know that during NCS, they gave you this like list of what to bring. And it's like the longest list ever. Like for one week. And I'm just sitting there like... It just confuse you with this list, but I'm gonna tell you this what I think you're gonna need during the week. And also remember though that different styles affect this. So if your style is very different to what I'm suggesting, just go with what your style says more than what I'm saying. You, you should feel amazing what you wear. So go for that. But without further ado, before I start talking on for ages because I miss you guys so much filming on a tripod and I miss filming like this. Let's get started. I was really enthusiastic, and yes, again, I am enthusiastic. Woo! The so first week is week one, which is the active week. Pow, pow, pow. And that is the week that most people look forward to, to be honest, and I just sit there and I'm like, like, this week is active, so prepare to get dirty. Prepare for all your clothes to be sweaty or be used. Expect a little bit of dirt and expect wet. You are going to be soaking. So, first options for whoever, I'd recommend stuff that's very, like, you don't mind getting dirty or very movable and comfortable. So, for some people, it might be, like, leggings or tracksuits or, if you're lucky enough, shorts. Let me give you a little hint of some shorts. These are my swimming shorts. I'd actually really recommend you to bring, like, swimming trunks. No matter who, to bring either a pair of swimming trunks or swimming shorts or something. Because not only do these, A, class is a good outfit option, but secondly, they are waterproof, so you're actually going to be really protected when getting wet in canoeing. Although, I still did get wet during canoeing, so... But I don't 100% recommend these. They're just super comfortable. I love the color. Super bright, like minty, aqua color. I love them. Another recommendation, because they do stay on the list to bring hiking boots, and I just sit there like, Really? I recommend to actually bring a really comfortable pair of trainers instead. So on the hike when I was going, I wore my like Roshis and literally I practically lived in these for the whole of the week. They were so comfortable and they honestly had survived me through so much. Also, the thing I like about the Nike Roshis especially is that they got this like knit material. They actually let your feet breathe for a bit and it's actually quite nice. You'll probably be like, Steph, why are they seriously so dirty? I'm surprised they aren't even more dirty because basically during my hike, I went through rain, mud, sunshine, every single weather you could think about. Okay, maybe except from snow. But these went through so much and I'm surprised they're actually this clean. So like, I'm pretty proud of myself. I do have to say to myself. Okay, also cuts my head really nicely, so. A really comfortable trainer trainer, so maybe the Adidas uh, Superstars or maybe like, I don't know, other trainer brands. Uh, these are my super comfy trainers, so yeah. I also recommend you to bring some sort of like headwear, whether it is like a cap, visor, something just to get the sun at your face, also to get your hair up because it's so much more easier to do in that. As you know, I'm not really a baseball cap person and not really that, but I wore one anyway. This is my one. Basically, my mum got this when going to Canada when we a Blue Jays game and I don't mind it. I feel like I look like a dad. That was the only problem about this, but it's quite a trendy option. It's more of a, like a nice option. Option and having your hair on your face and everywhere. It's just so much more easier in my opinion. 100% recommend you to bring a cap or some sort of like thing just to get your hair out your face or as well as that. I'd also recommend you to bring some sort of raincoat, some sort of like jacket that you don't mind getting wet. This is from Zara. I think I've said this before in like a haul or something. This is a shower proof jacket. I actually wouldn't say this is pretty good actually. It dries off very quickly. So I would recommend this if you're gonna go and it's slightly raining. It's not raining during the week you're going. I still recommend you to bring it because it's a nice cover up. Finally, I'd recommend you to bring your NCS t-shirt. I generally recommend you to bring really comfortable tops, t-shirts and stuff like that because they're going to be so much more easier just to walk around in. Also, this t-shirt is, I'm not kidding to you, insanely comfortable. I'm not saying this is not sponsored or anything, it's actually just insanely comfortable. Mine's in a large though, so it doesn't really fit me. It just goes with a lot of the stuff I was wearing and it was just fun. And why are there like toiletries of everything? You are going to be like active a lot of the time, but don't bring stuff like a hair dryer or any like long cosmetic like makeup I would not recommend you for this week I'd recommend stuff like maybe smaller packs like little bottles to put like your favorite shampoo and conditioner shower gel in it's really impossible in my situation at NCS to go and have a shower because there was only like five available so it was a bit like 
I would just say that because it's so much more easier. As well as that, like, it's just a lot more compact and it means you can carry it around a lot more. It's kind of it. I wouldn't really say anything else. You, like, obviously, like, socks and underwear, like, oh, if you don't, I... Oh my god, that's disgusting, me going commander. That thought is just disturbing. Week two now. Week two is, like, the week where, like, because you're at uni accommodation, and it's a lot more comfier clothes. For me, it was freaking boiling. It was, like, freaking 31 degrees on the first day. Hmm. But for me, a lot more of the essentials were a lot more like shorts and vests. A lot more with stuff like this. These are honestly, I think, my favorite pair of shorts. These are from River Island and they have this really nice, like, I don't even know what kind of print. Like, look at this print. Isn't it just so cool? It's a really nice print and I really, really like them. I go with a lot. So, I recommend you to buy shorts. I like, go with a lot. Whether you are wearing with. This week is very much a lot more comfortable. And check the weather. For me, it was boiling. I did see girls wearing like jumpsuits and play suits and dresses. That's quite a nice option. Also, I saw a lot of people just going in really comfortable clothing because, you know what, you're at a uni accommodation and you're gonna be walking around places, so, like, you need to be comfortable. She went cooking, Jesus, you're gonna need to be comfortable. Then, you're gonna need some comfortable pair of shoes. I literally lived in these shoes. So, my sandals, these are from Office, but, like, I really wanna, like, a working socks. I literally lived in these. That's how comfortable they were. Also, they let my feet breathe, which was so good. I literally recommend you to let a pair of sandals if you're going on a hotter, like, week. If your week's not as hot, then maybe just wear these around the dorm. will be really comfortable. I would also maybe recommend to bring, like, snacks. Only because it's just a lot more fun. And then for week one and two. Also, you got a little treat for yourself. Just, like, in case you did something amazing that day. You're like, I'm going to treat myself to some Jaffa cakes. Basically, I have this, like, thing every morning where I eat literally Greek yogurt with granola and at least two pieces of fruit. So I continued that by buying peaches. I also brought some granola with me. So you could buy a couple of like personal things you really, really want. What is that on the last day, you're gonna have to dress smart. Like a smart kind of casual because you're gonna be giving a presentation. Oh, so what I brought, I brought these like suit trousers from ASOS. They're really comfortable and they're just so easy to wear. My kind of like smart casual with this recently would kind of be like that with a t-shirt. And see, it's so easy. So I'd recommend you to do something like that. Obviously your smart casual can depend. It can maybe be like a pair of jeans and a shirt, or a skirt and a top, or just a dress and a denim jacket, something like that. Go for whatever you feel most comfortable in because it's, remember it's your presentation and you're there to impress people. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now we are on to week three. Now week three you are at home so it's not involving like packing or anything like that. But here are just some like recommendations of what I would have maybe worn if I could go again. First one is actually a smaller bag. I would have brought a smaller bag like this one. This one is actually from Kipling. My mum got it as like a gift I think and I just took it because it's really cute. But seriously a little bag like this is so much more better than bringing like a bigger bag. I think I brought my rock sack for a couple of days and it was so heavy and annoying to work with. I also brought my sack for a couple of them as well. Having a little bag just to put your, your phone, your wallet, a couple of other essentials like your oyster, so much more helpful. It's just, it's so much more easier to work with as well. If you are worried about food, I honestly just recommend bringing a plastic bag. Also, I kind of like this one because I had a little monkey. His name is Don. I want to call him Nathaniel or Nigel. Which one is better for this monkey? Call me the name of this monkey. As well as that, we're going to have to go smart again. Oh. Proper, proper, full blown suits, like blazers and suit, like look business wear. So, what I would recommend is to go for a blazer. A blazer is like the easiest fix. I didn't wear a blazer, I think I wore a shirt and then suit trousers. Blazers are pretty unisex, so for girls as well, this will look pretty smart. In front of the dragons. Oh, oh. But this is just such a nice one. Like the little detail of the white here, and the blazer is just such a nice fit on me. This is from H&M. Well, is that, I'd probably recommend you, for me, the weather kind of was different from week one and week two. But for the first part, I could wear shorts, and I was like, yeah! But the second part, I couldn't, because it was a bit too cold. So, I'd recommend you to wear jeans! I was kind of doing some, like, extreme yoga position. Oh my god. But yeah, Stuff has jeans, woo! Double trousers for me, jeans and suit trousers and chinos are exactly up my alley. So I was like, Yeah, just wear stuff that you're comfortable with because remember, you are at home, so you have the most optional to wear. I don't even recommend you what to pack, just wear what you find comfortable. So for me, I like a lot of bright colors and prints. So for me, this is my comfort zone. I took a really fun printed shirt from Polar Bear and it's got these like flags on it and I absolutely love this to death. I love coral, so I was just like, mmm. 
and then secondly, another thing that I find really comfortable that I've been really, really liking as well, even tropical shirts. This one is from Zara, and I like it because it's probably like one of the most muted versions of this trend. I know they have like a pink version out currently, I think, from like um, Boohoo Man, and I think they also have one in Zara. But this one is a pasta blue one. It's got this really nice leaf pattern, and I think the blue and white go really nicely together and make it look less cheesy, because sometimes I find that tropical shirts can look really cheesy. So. This is exactly up my alley and I love it to death. But yeah, I just recommend it to be really comfortable for this week. And that's the best thing to recommend for this whole of it. Just to remember that it's NCS and you're gonna have fun. No one's gonna really care about what you're wearing. So even if you wear something that you wouldn't personally wear, like I wore track suits for a whole week. That was like hell in my mind. As you know, I hate track suits. Still done it and no one honestly cared. Like everyone was like to me for who I am. So I was just like, mm, 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 mm. Staying alive. Why was I singing staying alive? Right? Dress how you want to dress. Be confident in what you're doing because I personally think when you dress yourself and you're like, damn, I look good, then you are going to be feeling amazing and people are going to gravitate towards you because you are feeling amazing. So I would say do that. We don't really say anything else. I think you know what to do. Bring your phone. Make sure you can bring entertainment for the evening. So your phone, maybe download a couple of films, maybe listen to music before you go to bed or when you wake up really early, listen to films. Music. That was me. I always listen to music all the time. I would just say do what you want and for any YouTubers out there who are watching this as well, I recommend you to vlog the event. Let's vlog it. Whether you do have a camera, like my Canon G7 Next or DSLR, or you just you have your phone, vlog it. Literally, comment down below your vlogs or message me on like Instagram, stylebooyesp159. Just comment, like message me them and I will watch them and I will comment and I will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually really need to pee now. I have like the child's bladder. Why am I saying this in a video? I do hope you enjoyed this video. Two questions of the day because I have not done them in so long and I miss it so much. <laughs> First question, did you find this helpful? If you did, yay. If you didn't, I'm really sorry. Just comment down below if you've got any more questions. And your second question is, what type of videos do you see you guys seriously do you enjoy? Do you enjoy more vlogs or do you enjoy more of these like tit tat? talking videos or do you enjoy like, like aesthetics and lookbooks and stuff like that? Comment down below because I'm actually really intrigued. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, you know what to do and I shall see you guys very very soon. For those going to NCS, I hope you have the best time ever. Whoa! Cheers! Adios! Goodbye!